what's going on guys this will be something that's called let's talk giants so um this video will be dedicated to talking about the new york giants um and what they're doing this year and maybe what they can pull off against the washington redskins on um, this week at thursday night football um i think the giants are looking pretty good this year um i always thought they were they were better than last year even in week one when they lost 35 to 14 I've seen some improvements. Um, this defense loves to stop the run. They're not the best in stopping the run, but they average about, um, I think, a little over 100 yards, um, or maybe a little less now, but I I'm not sure. But they limited Alfred Blue to only 78 yards. He did have 13 carries, unfortunately. This uh, That's a little bit amount of carries for 78 yards, but he still has 78 yards. Um, uh, week, week one... Against the Detroit Lions, we shut down the run most definitely on Reggie Bush and Drake Bell. I think uh, Reggie Bush's longest run was like 11 yards or something like that. Anyway, we ran him out of bounds. So um, this run defense is actually looking pretty good. Our defensive line is very solid. We're getting sacks here and there. Um, JPP, uh, not 100%, I could tell. Maybe around 95%, he'll get there. Um, he won't be an all-time sack leader, but I believe he'll get some sacks for us. Our defensive tackles are also looking pretty solid. We got Mike Patterson and uh, Cullen Jenkins and um, Jonathan Hankins and all the uh, those people. I think they, they uh, Mike Patterson also has a sack. I think it maybe, maybe I don't know. I haven't been watching the games. I had to listen on the radio because I live here in Florida and they don't air here. The Giants don't air here in um, on TV. Um, I think only primetime games. So. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, so, that's it for that. Um, I believe our secondary will do well. I know uh, what happened in Detroit was a, was a huge discouragement with our best corner and our safety, Stevie, Stevie Brown and DRC, smashing into each other for a Calvin uh, Johnson touchdown. But I don't, I don't think that kind of thing will happen again. Um, the secondary is actually looking pretty solid. We've got Prince Mukamara, we've got uh, Dominic Rogers Cromartie, and we got Antro Rowe who picked off uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, this week. Um, and like like the Texans, um, like the Texans, the Washington Redskins will be passing a lot. Um, I can tell uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick wanted to pass a lot because he didn't have Arian Foster on his hands. Um, just like uh, with Washington Redskins, they are a passing team, mostly, uh, even though they do have Alfred Morris, but they are a passing team. And I believe we can also stop the run, and we're going to definitely stop the pass. Um, I am a little um, skeptical, though, because of how good, um, of how good, uh, what's his name, Kirk Cousins, I'm sorry, of how good Kirk Cousins did against the Eagles, even though the Eagles don't have a good secondary the uh, Eagles do have a good defense, solid. It's not the best. I think the Giants' defense is better. But to to get a team and 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 you still lost, but to get a team and lose by a field goal, thirty-seven to thirty-four, even you almost got it, but he only he almost had it, but he couldn't convert on fourth down. Um, so that that is pretty scary to me, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't believe they'll be playing as hard as they did because there is there was that factor of playing hard against the Eagles because of Deshaun Jackson trying to show his former team what they lost. And he definitely did. Um, there was a few fights here and there. Big rivalry game, you know that. Um, are now to our Giants offense. I think we should move on to the Giants offense. This Giants offense was clicking. I did watch the highlights and I did listen in on the radio. Um... Larry Donnell is really doing good for us. In the beginning of the season, I wanted Adrian Robinson to start for us because I'm a big person who loves the factor of speed. And um, from what I heard, Adrian Robinson had the speed, um, but uh, he didn't have the hands, apparently. Um, he's, he's probably, uh, he's very fast as a tight end, and he is pretty tall. But I think Larry Donnell fits his offense a little bit more. He does need to get faster. Um, he needs to pick up those legs a little bit more. But he is a good he is a good receiver, no doubt. He's been he's been the leading receiver this um the whole entire um three weeks. This whole three weeks he's been the leading receiver. So uh Victor Cruz has his first touchdown since two thousand and um has his first touchdown at home since two thousand and twelve. 
Um, the last touchdown he ever had was against Kansas City in Week 3. So, no, not Week 3. I think it's like Week 4 or 5, something like that. Early early in the weeks. Um, Eli Manning's actually look, looking pretty good. No picks. Um, I didn't expect that from corners like Jonathan Joseph and so on. Um, but no picks. And um, our O-line did pretty good handling J.J. Uh, Watt. J.J. Watt did do a pretty good. Uh, he did get like two tackles for loss. He did sack Eli Manning once. I think he pa- he passed defense like two times or so. He was active. He was doing pretty active, but he didn't do as as bad damage as we thought he would. I thought maybe he would get around three sacks on Eli Manning because of how damaged our old line is. But our our old line really really picked it up, and they even talked some trash at the end, saying that JJ Wine and the rest of the defensive line um, gave up at the end of the game. So. Uh, that's a lot coming from Justin Pugh, a second year, um, second year player here for the Giants. As our for our, I think he's our right tackle. Um, uh, what's next? Oh, I have to mention Rashad Jennings breaking his career record for most rushing yards, and all the times he's ever broken his career rushing yards were against the Texans. So that tells you something there that Texans don't have good run, uh, rush defense. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I th- um, I think it was 34 rushes. All right, Rashad Jennings rushed 34 times. Do not quote me on this. I think it's 34 times for what I've seen on NFL. I have I usually have good picture memory, but uh, 34 times for 176 yards and one touchdown. This guy was on fire. He was always picking up 10 yards or uh, yards after yards after um. Hit yards after first hit was insane. I mean, he was getting hit at the line of scrimmage, and the guy was still going for another five or six yards. So, um, Rashad Jennings, forgive me for what I said in week two and week three and all that. Um, week one and, and, and week two and in preseason, I didn't, I doubted you, to tell you the truth. I really wanted Andre Williams to start. Andre Williams did get some carries, he was looking pretty good. Um, but Rashad Jennings really showing what he could do. I just wish he could get a little faster. Um, but all in all, the Giants are looking really good. And um, I believe they will win against the Washington Redskins. This Washington Redskins defense is really beat up on all sides, on, on both sides of the ball, actually, offense and defense. So I think we're going to hit them in their weak spot while they're down. Um, easy win. Um, you know, maybe if they were at their full potential, I could see them winning in my, in my other prediction video uh, during, like, you know, go back to my. First video of the prediction video before the season started. I said the Washington Redskins would beat us at this time, but I'm kind of changing that up. Uh, the receivers aren't aren't that huge receiving core that I would thought they'd be. I, I thought they would be the best receiving core in the league, maybe top five at most, and they're really not showing that at all. So, uh, best of luck for the Giants. I hope they do well this Thursday night. Um, short week for them after a win, so hopefully they'll get that up. Um, we do need to work on our special teams more, most definitely. Um, I don't even know what happened on that field goal. Um, that, that, that field goal by Josh Brown, it was like a, I think, I think Steve Weatherford missed it, and Josh Brown had to take it, and he had to rush for a little bit, but, um, we do, if, if needed, we do, we should work on it. If needed, they should practice on that more. Uh, special teams, you can never, you could never practice enough for special teams. Anything can happen in special teams, you know what I mean? Um, especially we face the Falcons two weeks from now. We've got the, the leading uh, special teams player, Devin Hester, who just broke the record a few weeks ago, one week ago against the Buccaneers. So, um, yeah, all in all, we do need some work. That's no doubt, but I am looking on the positive side of the Giants. So, um, this is going to be the... Not the last video. It's gonna be let's talk Giants. It'll be like a little segment, I guess. So I'll do every week. Um, so I don't look at the nine minutes of me just talking about the Giants. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you at the end of week four. Goodbye.